five lights and they're off and it's Mr. Exxon gets a mark and should I say gets a decent start DM guy though still maintaining his lead he makes it nice and cleaning through that first corner as it's a nice yeah looks like a clean first few corners for most cars a few drivers touching the ball there on turn two um yeah some in dropping some places maybe he got some damage in the McLaren dropping three five positions gained for Rickett and Daniel so the Max have done a really good launch yeah, it's um, yeah, Ricketts next to the DMB uh, and TJD subsequently takes him as well. As ooh, we are getting a lot, as who's that who's just someone's just dived Dri into the pits? That's driver DMB. Um, as uh, TJD makes his all and he's getting this uh, overtaking him then into turn two. So a little bit of action coming in the middle as, as TJD gets very squirrely coming out to turn two. Um, so yeah, a little bit of action in the middle of the grid at the moment. Um, which is interesting. Um, I think he's has he has he reversed violently out of the castle sector. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what's happened. What's the case. Yeah, and somebody obviously being on the medium tyres as well. So if he can make up a lot of places, it will work well for his race strategy. Um, but that's going to be a it's going to be a close knit battle, should we say? Um, Ricker is yeah, he's definitely not on his happened there. He's gone around somewhere. He might have had a tangle coming out of the corner. He's got to wait for all this traffic before he could do a donut. Oh, and it's and not no. an easy thing to do as well. These cars don't have a very good turning circle. No, and those tyres will be overheated. Oh, there's all kinds of action now. With the DRS being enabled, it's all going on. As we've got changes with Sandy Baggy um, overtaking Jedi and uh, Ricker going back. Let the drivers go no. past because there's no point. Oh, he's, he's, not he's still... I can see drivers yeah. maybe complaining about this one as he moves. Is that a deliberate move to the side or is he still trying to race? Oh, I think it's, he did. He did let him through there eventually. Because I'll follow him through the council section. He can't move to the side. So Dirk might have got one on TJD. Or TJD still might have damage there. I Not think he has got damage. I think he moved over to the side coming down that, coming down the hill section. For your strategy that I would have that I would have called, but nonetheless. I won't say that 256 doesn't know what he's doing. Um and that means I'll allow 256 <laughs> to take that one easy pickings. Fresh rubber. He takes that one back now. As we try and see if there's any more closer battles at the moment. Hayden Wallace is getting perilously close to Joe Bunker. Hayden's making a run now, mate. DRS. Oh, he's got him making a run now, is he? And he's got the move done. Oh, that's because uh, Joe Bunker. Oh, his Joe Bunker's going into He's not making much headway as he's... As he's Max is no doubt using the RS, but Sandy Baggy does make the move. Um, as Markham pits now. Um, so Sandy Baggy has made that move and puts himself up now into P3 as a result of that. Background, which is a bit of action between Max there. So are they Alpha Mayo switching the road? Again, they are. I think they're racing. Are they racing? Well, they could be uh, in... I do see sometimes lately in championships that they do swap around, <sighs> like the DRS. So it's better exit. It's the tyres yeah. now. Tim's tyres are cooked at the back. He's going to have to box, I'd say. Be the first there. Yeah. And allow Max to try to hold up. Joke would be the key. He's just exiting the pit, so we'll see how that one's going to pay out. As Markin's just coming into turn one. And so, DM guys, come to be here. Come to be here. Yeah, good, good, good strategy. So but... the... Yeah. And Max hasn't. So he's lost a lot of those places. The pit stop or is his teammate, Markin. Yes, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not, yeah, I, I can't work that one out because obviously Max is still yet Somebody's to be boxing, there it is. So Max gets out of that. He says, I don't want to be a part of this party, my friend. Let you guys go for it, which is Flying Whale and Joke Bob. Joke Bob. He's gone a little bit deep there. Flying Whale has. It's a lot of Joke Bob through. Hayden's in the background, Joke. catching him, almost within DRS now. So Hayden's right on the back of the gearbox now. He is. See this becoming a three wide as we uh, as we probably reach down the, uh, the the final sector of this uh, of this track. So uh, yeah, watch out for that. Oh. Still on the older tyres. So does Mark and get past some idiots? So they're struggling a little bit in those tyres. Here we go. Here's a run from Hayden. It's Hayden's Before making the move the line, now. Should get the overtake done, and it is. And he's done that nice and cleanly. So Hayden up into P7. Oh, came in about halfway through this lap. So he's not. Yeah, Sandy Bank has got it, of course. So does uh, some idiot. Mark and stays out. Some, this is a cheap pit stop, remember, for Sandy Baggy and some idiot. Because they had to box anyway. Yes, he's yeah. going on mediums. I mean, I found when I did Baku, I, I found um, 
almost running a one stop was 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 possible running the hards, but they're not the kindest of tires around here. Maybe you could know Jeffrey. Maybe you could let us know what the best strategy is. Ricketts got no front wing. I can tell you that one right now. No, I thought he was getting yeah. overtaken by Sebzar. I, th I thought it might have been a, a timing glitch, but it, yes, confirmed. He has no front wing. Tucked back under inch and DM guy. So, all looking fairly well as Sabzo takes Dirk Chocolate um, into turn one. Has he made that move stick? He certainly has. has. Ricker getting ahead of his teammate there. Um, oh, it's all chaos at the back as TJD goes into P14 now. Um, but the top bunch still looking... ...on the back of Sandy Baggy, as well as Mark on the lead. I'm not quite sure which battle to follow, mate. Maybe go to Mark Can he get DM guy? I don't so. Don't think he's going to make that move through. Don't think he's going to make that move through. There is Max O'Connor does make the move on Sandy Baggy. Oh, they bump wheels. Ooh, oh, it's getting very aggressive between those two at the moment, between Sandy Baggy and Max O'Connor. Oh, no. Takes the lead. A double overtake there from 256. That's dangerous. Wow. Isn't it? Somebody is spinning about the inside of Max Connor now. Diving up at turn five or four, whatever it is, and he had to swing back over the other way. Did he get the job done? I think he did get the job done. The safety car. Ooh, so Joe Boat did not like that. He missed the pit lane entrance. Hayden did. did. Hayden dived into the pits. It's Mark too into whether or not he's going to decide. He's not going to try that Max Verstappen side by side under a safety car. That Max tries. To, there we go. He's gone. Bang! DM guy hits the pedal. He's gone. And he gets a great. Uh, as Hayden already makes up a space, and he's going to take TJD. He has. He's taken TJD. So Hayden really making those soft tyres work for him early on. Because the beauty of the F1 game, yeah, in this game, is that the tyre strategies, the tyres are just so much more different. The softs actually give you so much more advantage. And bang! So he's along. Max. So, uh, and I think Daniel as well. Ooh. Up the road. What's going to happen there? Max Connor and Saf have made a little bit of an overtake behind. Overtakes everywhere. This can, it gets really close. Well. Incredibly close, but he's going to make moves. Sandy Baggy is just in front of him as well. Nope. Still holds the position for him. Oh. Let's see. Not quite sure what happened there. Another one. Exactly. <laughs> Right, yeah, I honestly. So he's sending one inside. The problem is Max has got that three-second penalty slapped next to his name. Hayden's charge back, of course, but he's got to charge back. He's running out of time, but he has plenty yeah. of good fresh tires to go with it. How long we can keep this run for? Like you said, I mean, it's easy. he's not got long to do it. You're talking four laps to, to try and make up some places. I mean, I would have thought I would have, I would have expected him to see him up higher. As somebody that goes past Sandy Baggy now. Um, and flying wild trying to make a move. Hayden Gullis and Max O'Connor are trading places from what I can see. This is looking perilous. Hayden's not giving me this one. Sorry, yeah, Max is not giving oh, me this no. one. Because they remember they and the same tyres. Outbraked him. Wow. Yeah, flying wild gully a little bit slow. Sandy Baggy tries to set up on the inside. Losing a bit of speed. Ooh, That's going to Oh no! And tangled. And Hayden says, thank you very much. I'll take that one any day of the week. And I think that's the reason why Hayden... Sandy Baggy got bumped off the track by Dirk Chocolate there. I, I, Sandy Baggy's race is just unfolding in front of his eyes. He's got eyes. damage, and he's got ooh, damage, ooh. and that's like uh, Daniel, I think, slapping into the wall, and then Sandy Daniel Baggy just went head on, yeah. That's and that's bringing Hayden the player as well, too. That's going to be something, remember, we are on the penultimate lap, so this is it for Hayden to try to make up those places by taking that gamble on the soft tyres. Yeah, it's a bit slippy coming out. So that's another interesting battle going on, but the real battle, of course, on track is whether or not Hayden can make those soft tyres get past some idiot. For P6. Thank you much for the follow out there, Richard. Welcome along to the last lap of, the, of this race here for round six in Azerbaijan. We're about almost getting over halfway, oh, just under halfway through the tier three PPR. And it's Hayden now on the back of some idiot. He's easy to, to let's see him now. So DM guy, I, I, and as you said, as Joe Boke had DNF'd as well, but uh, yeah, DM guy, a flawless race. P1 uh, qualifying, led every lap, so that's a, that's a grand slam um, in in terms of Formula 1 finish. Now, as we go on board with some idiot, now has gone past flying well, and Hayden Gullis now will take that P5 spot as we see well, Sam 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 get a point finally here across the line. He does get ahead he of Max does. Connor. He, he did! He picked, him at, he picked him at the line, he did! Championship, your first trifecta, not to mention your trifecta in this race. Three wins, 81 points plus 25. Plus 26, actually, you're leading the championship. And as I said, Baku, it can, it can, it can produce some.